Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here and I got my friend Crippen right here. He's gonna be doing all the work in changing the spa plugs and ignition coil on the N54-335i. So, let's start this project. Project, I decided to go with the DEF ignition course right here. All right, just because I want to push not more than 500 horsepower, so I fit DEF will do the job. So, and DEF is the one that you use from factory, right? Yeah, so, it's the factory one. So, yep. I don't, I'm not gonna be pushing too much power on this car, so no need for something extra. And as you see Bosch. Factory still. Factory still. So I'm gonna do this too. Yeah, these are not the NGK gapped or anything like that. Factory I'm gonna, yeah. specs. I'm and not gonna go everything. through the trouble of gapping and stuff like that because yeah. I'm not gonna be pushing more than 500 horsepower on this thing. So although the car is capable of doing it, yeah, not definitely. Gonna do it. But I'm not gonna do it because I want a reliable N54. So. Exactly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know this. He story. doesn't want a 30 FF code. Oh uh, yeah, definitely no. So yes. So we're gonna start with what? Um, Cars or? I think we start with. Blocks. Well, first we have to remove things. All this yeah, stuff yeah, right here, we have, we have to, to remove that so we can access. I mean, we can access the one from the front here. The one in front the here can be accessed, the but one. the one on the back here is. Really All right, easy. let's do the hard part first. So let's take remove it. This. That yeah, the covers. The then covers, we have access all, to everything. All this crap, then we can have straight access to the engine. Yep, so um, how do we remove that? Let me turn around. We got a couple of screws. You got, you got this screw right here, got to come off. This one got to come off. That got to come off. Uh, so this one got to come off. This one got to come off. Yep. And, and we got another like eight, I think it was like eight millimeters. Yeah, if and I'm correct. One all the way at the end right there. Yep. Got to come off too. So, yes, let's start doing this. Yep. I had to put gloves on, man. So, um, I took off two pieces. So I took off the first plastic piece that I showed you guys. It had like those six screws right there. That was the first one I took off. The that filter? The filter. Then um, I had to take this one off. And I did not mention about the screws. It has two eight millimeters on each side. One around here, one around there, one, one on the side. And plus we had to take off some plastic covers here and here so pretty simple it was it was pretty simple but although this we had to take this off too here yeah, um but we're not gonna take it off completely we're just gonna move it around as we work on the engine so and that was it so next thing is we're gonna start messing with the core and i'm gonna show you guys how to put it off so first thing you want to do you lift this up a little bit you can use your finger or you can use a flat head or star screwdriver and kind of like pull it up a little bit this will release this connector right here then you can gently take it off once it's off now you can pull the cord off like this you kind of have to like wiggle it a little bit there we go so this guy is off right there I don't, I don't know if he was bad or not, but I just felt like I needed to change it since I bought the car with them. I mean, it doesn't look like it's bad. It's not broken. It doesn't have like oil on it. Exactly. It so, looks good. I, I would suggest that you keep it. Yeah, I will keep it. I will keep yeah. it definitely. So, um, the process is the same for everything. So we're going to do the exact same thing for all the cars and I'm going to show you guys how to take off the plug as well. I'm trying to get inside to see your spa plugs. I don't see any oil residue inside, but once we remove the spapler, we will see. Okay. Well, as you mentioned, the process is the same to remove all the five remaining ones. So we're gonna go and do that off camera and then show you next how to remove the spapler. All right guys, so we took all the cars off and something. We found out that some cars were soaked in oil. Like, see this one right here? It's all soaked in oil and that's not good. This one wasn't. So, um, to the best of my knowledge, if I have good memory, this came off one, then this came off two. 
So this came up here and this came up here. So what we're gonna do is like, and, and I had cylinder five two and I think six. I think it was four also. Four, yeah, four, five, six. Basically, anything besides one, we have to clean it. So, so also all the 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 coils on bank two, because bank two is like four, five, six. Okay, bank two, technically. So we have to clean it, and we're gonna show you guys how you can easily clean it. Yep. So I took paper towel and I wrapped it around the flat head, and I'm gonna like stick it in there and try to grab as much oil as possible while i'm in there you have to do it very gently and be careful not to let it get stuck in your engine right there see almost got it stuck in there so i got some something all right repeat the same process for any other area where you have oil leaks and... i don't think there was a lot of oil in bank three yeah so i did not get much oil in there but definitely two had oil all right guys our cars are off and we cleaned in here so i just did a complete cleanup um it wasn't like a professional cleanup but i tried my best to do it and now i'm going to take off the spark plug so for that you're going to need this 14 millimeter 12 point spark plug socket right here i bought it from fcpu by the way everything i have here I got it from FCP Euro, so you can check them out. They have good stuff, man. So, no sponsor of the video, so just because we purchased it from there. Yes, so you're gonna have to use this extension. Simple, put your extension in there. I'm gonna use this torque wrench. We'll get in there, make sure it's stuck. So we're gonna go find the plug right in there. You feel it? Once you feel it, that you got the, the plug, you just kind of like, yeah, I'll talk it out. Oh, for it to be faster, we can take this off. Use the big guy. <laughs> we got you on camera, buddy. Okay. Oh yeah, I think you have to like do one more time. It's not completely under. Okay. There you go. We got the guy. We got the oily one. Yeah, <laughs> you can see soaked in oil. And it's kind of like real thin here, so let's compare that with the good one. So you need so, a bit change. So, but it's two different um companies. It's two different type. Yeah, this is NGK and this is Bosch. Yeah, you can so, see the difference. But the main thing you want to look at is the middle piece right there. You can see it has girth, but this one is already thin. Yep. So yep. All right. Now we do the same thing to remove all of them, and Ooh, then my, put it back. My, my. Oh lord. Man, no wonder your oil level was always going low. It wasn't. Just, just, just come on. Talk tell the trash. truth. Well, I don't have the best idol, but yeah, that's why I'm doing this. His oil leak was worse than the E36 oil leak. Let's put it out loud. Oh, oh. did I say that out loud? Oh, sorry, sorry. I think I wasn't meant come to on, put you on blast. Get out of here, man. Yeah, man. All right, guys. So we took off all the plugs. It was soaking oil, as you can see right there. Pretty nasty, so that's probably one of the reasons for my rough idol. We're gonna replace it with the new ones right here. And um, yeah, once again, it's, it's Bosch. And um, just hook it up right here to your tool. And yes. send it! Same branch, send the guy on a mission right in there. All right. So as I mentioned, we are going to put the top specs on the description so that you can talk it to the right specs. Right now we did it by feel and we're going to repeat the same process on the rest right there. So our spark plugs are in as you can see and we're going to put the cars now. Easy. Just same way you took it off, put it back in. Make sure this top is lifted. Just it in there. This right here should be facing this way because it goes in right here. You feel it? Right there. All right, stuff is in. So now you plug back the connector. Make sure the triangle is facing up. 
get it back here. Right here. There you go. So we're gonna repeat the same process for all of them. And the job is done. Easy, right? It wasn't that easy though. Yeah, well, after we're done with that, we have to have to put this coil back. And to put it back, I think it's the reverse of what we did to remove yes. it. Yes. Pretty simple. You know, for, but for other people that have the cover for the car, you have to put back yeah. the cover because his car doesn't have the cover, so this is it for him. But for you, that Take might have the cover, a cover yeah. Back the cover. Exactly. Yeah, man. So um, we're not going to film where we put everything back together because this this is it. So uh, on this note, do you have any anything to say to the viewers? Not really. We're just going to show them the finished product and um, I'm going to start the car and see if I have rough idle again. If not, good. If I still have it, we're gonna continue troubleshooting. Make sure you drop a comment if you see anything that we did wrong or anything you can do better in this process. We put all the coils back and now Copern is gonna go ahead and start it for the first time after we do all this job. So go ahead and send it, man. Turbo, that's why you hear like a little loud noise around down there. We're gonna replace this turbo soon, so that's coming up. But in terms of the idling, how's the idling, man? How's the idling now? Way better than before. Way better? Yeah, man. Yeah, I like it. Alright, it's good. But you can smell the, the gas, man, yeah, from that like that hole you have on the turbo. Yeah, yeah I can smell the gas. It's, it's pretty bad. It's good, it's good, man. Yeah, so as you can see, Crepan did all the job himself and probably this is the first time that he's working on a car. Is it the first time? Uh, complete job, yes. Yeah, so I was kind of showing him a little bit of instruction, but he did everything. The unscrewing, the screwing, I mean, you saw it on camera. And soon enough, he's going to be, you know, doing a lot more DIYs on his car himself. Because, did you enjoy it? Yeah, technically, yes. Nice, nice. So you can see, this is someone who has no experience into fixing cars and he was able to do his coil and spark plug replacement himself. With all the tools, you can do any job, man. Look at him dancing now. I'm not going to put this on camera, man. This is, this is <laughs> crazy. All right, on this note, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you Bye, subscribe. Man like the video drop a comment like i said if you see something that we can do better or anything that you see that we recommendation on my we engine exactly tell me i'll do it for you man i'm yes. ready now Yay. yes yes Woo. yeah please recommend him to put suspension because this this shit is it's 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 nasty all right, i'm gonna do bc car rovers yeah all right so um thank you again for watching and see you on the next video bye bye any notes any comment no? nothing bye bye <laughs>